check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. All right, guys, I have this 96 Chevy 1500. And what's going on is, this is the plow will move left and right and down fine, but it won't move up. So what I'm gonna do is drain all the fluids and then change the filter in there. See if that does anything. Change the fluid, the hydraulic fluid in it. Put some dielectric grease, change the gasket. Um, clean out the connections. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Change the filter, I did this last year, but that's a big problem if your filter's clogged and I'll clean it and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, this is the fill cap. You're gonna wanna take that off, cause it's gonna be pressure. And then you'll want to grab You wanna grab your Allen key. Right down here. Right here. That's the drain plug. God damn. You'll loosen that guy. Okay, so after that, this is your fill line. So when you're putting hydraulic fluid back in, it starts coming out of that, you cap that, that tells you how if you have enough in there or not. Check that guy out. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take this pump off. So to take this screw out, or there's one like that behind it. We'll pull that guy off. <laughs> Give it a good little smack. Set that down. Here's what the inside looks like. There's a filter right here. There's a magnet in here. So what they're trying to do with that is This is the old gasket. We got a new one of these. So there's a new one I got. What they're trying to do with that magnet is catch all the metal shavings. Oh, there's a lot. It's very little, but it makes it like a sludge almost. I want to show you guys what's all on this magnet. You can see there's stuff up in the corner. There's that filter and I can see there's stuff on it right now. So get this cleaned out. So right there you see, you can just use a screwdriver and pop this guy off. grab that it's quite a bit of stuff in the screen I mean we can compare it to the new one I'll clean this out show you guys what's on it so time to clean this guy out so I have the pump out and here's the spot where the filter goes. So we're going to 
just want to put that back on. There you go. So we got all new filters in. We're going to put the pump back on. And then we'll put new hydraulic oil on it. So I want to show you guys how much gunk is actually on this filter. So I'm going to use a carb cleaner and spray it out. Just a little container. Show you guys. Just a nasty film over it. Because you can reuse these. You can clean them and I'll probably keep this. Just keep it in the truck in case I ever need it for some reason. I mean, they're not very expensive. You can always go buy one. And as you can see, all of that floating gunk was on that screen. And it just makes a film over it. What happens then? It doesn't filter right. Therefore, your pump or your plow won't work as good. Now, this isn't the cleanest. So I'll probably take a little bit more time to clean that a little better. But I just want to show you guys how much stuff is actually built on that.